Hoo everyone, I'm back. I'm Joanne and Jan. I write web fiction. Check it out. So good, where was I? I was at a place and the place was a clinic in a town and there is no translation for it in English. I looked it up and possible translations were health resort but it's not a health resort it's a clinic yeah and it's called reha for rehabilitation and um, the old word is kur kurort the word kur has the same roots than the english word uh, to cure or a cure so it's a town where the air is very fresh and they have um, hot water springs with thermal water, special spring water, which is healthy, <laughs> hopefully. And these towns are plenty in Germany and uh, they are very historic and there are lots of books set in these health resorts and towns like Dostoevsky, the player, I look it up what the English uh, title, title is. So the Russians have a big tradition in uh, going to Germany to do these cures or now rehears rehabilitations. Yeah, I will uh, say rehab uh, in the future of this video because it's the translation the closest, but I haven't heard a rehab clinic for physical things. I only heard it for drug addictions, but in Germany there are clinics to do physical rehabilitation. The clinic I was um, was specialized in orthopedic procedures and uh, ontological uh, procedures. I hope these words exist in English. Yeah, and I was there because I got a big operation. So I will show you uh, my scar. So here's the scar warning. If you don't like to look at scars, uh, please look away now. Yeah, uh, it goes way down here and I like the way it curves around my belly button. You can look again. I did a way in before the operation and um, I weighted myself after the operation and I lost 12 pounds. <laughs> so um, yeah, I feel pretty slim at the moment. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't the uh, the tumor was a nice tumor, not an aggressive one, yeah? but it was very big. Um, but I think a bit of the weight was because of the hospital food as well. So yeah, yeah. Back to the rehab clinic. So we did a lot of gymnastics, more gymnastics, and more gymnastics like uh, gymnastics especially for women, then general gymnastics and breathing uh, gymnastics uh, where you learn different types of breathing. Yeah? Then I did a lot of walking. One started at 7 a.m. for the breakfast. <laughs> Before the breakfast, yeah, good. It's not ho holidays, it's uh, a clinic and I was very satisfied with my progress. Um, I have no pain anymore and I feel much more awake and active. That's pretty good. I told you that, that the setting is very popular in uh, Russian literature and uh, there were many Russians in this clinic as well. Um, I think it's a cultural thing. Maybe you are used to reading about it and you are in Germany, so yeah. Why not? Oh, and the great thing is that the insurance company pays for a majority of your stay. 
so I only have to pay a small amount of money. I don't know yet how much it is exactly, but I think 10 euros. That means I had uh, three weeks of eating, sleeping, therapies for uh, 210 euros. That's um, under $210, so uh, that's just great. That's really one of the benefits of the German health system. So um, you have to give credit where credit is due. There, is, there are many things who aren't as good in the German health systems, but that they sponsor you rehabilitation after major surgeries is definitely a pro. Now back to the setting. Because it is sponsored by insurance companies, even that 10 euros per day, if you have a very low income, you can even get this uh, 10 euros per day back from some agency. So you've got people from all walks of life in these clinics. The only thing they have in common is that they have a major or had a major health issue. And that makes it pretty interesting as setting. Another point is that you have to do the therapies. You, you are not allowed to skip them. If you skip too many therapies, the insurance companies won't, won't pay for it. So you are forced in groups with people you don't choose to be with and on activities you don't choose. Uh, the health insurance companies have standards and these clinics must adhere to these standards. You've got a forced social component and a forced activity component and you've got a large variety of characters and I mean that's a great starting point for uh, any stories. There is a famous movie in uh, a clinic of this type and it's a James Bond movie. Uh, I wanted to research it before I start talking to you. The story of this movie was that someone hypnotized the patients of the clinic to be serial killers or something like that. And James Bond uh, comes in as a patient and discovers the plot. It uh, played in the Swiss, in Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland has these Kur Otter as well. Another aspect is that these clinics are or can be pretty creepy. It has a long tradition, so there are very old uh, parts of the clinic. Um, some clinics are old at a whole and are very historic. The clinic I was had an old building where we eat. I thought it was pretty nice, but other people thought that it was not enough renovated. Yeah, I mean, it's an old building that um, golden picture frames and uh, big chandeliers and I think it's fitting if not everything is uh, shiny. Uh, there, there were a few tears in the walls and old windows, old doors, but yeah, it's an old building. Old buildings creepy. There are when the economy boomed so in the 60s, the baby boomer generation parts of buildings in these clinics as well. With time they're not that nice anymore. So you've got dark corridors. So it's a very good setting for horror as well. Horror, thriller, murder mystery, suspense. Yeah, you can do a lot with these clinics. Next topic. While I was away, I was able to write my regular amount of stuff. I've got uh, nearly no internet, so I wasn't distracted. Very good. I've got no internet, so I couldn't look up uh, words. Uh, not that good. <laughs> but yeah, 
I'm on schedule. I've got uh, six uh, six chapter advantage at the moment, and uh, that's good. Uh, I did no videos. Originally thought that I can go home on the weekends, but that wasn't the case. And with uh, this internet, I uh, couldn't carry my laptop because it's too heavy. And in the first time I was there and there was only internet in the library so I had to ask friends or my parents to carry it for me and then I just uploaded my story roughly uh, looked over it in Grammarly because Grammarly only works with internet yeah and posted it yeah, so um, it was stressful and I didn't want to overuse the time of my helpers for uploading videos and you have to wait some time for a video <laughs> to upload so that uh, wouldn't be possible. I um, filmed a bit in the clinic but I have no permission to show it to you um, but I made some pictures. I will show you a bit of it, the, th the things I think are okay to show. Uh, who knows if I'm right or not, please don't sue me. And I have some Pokemons in it. There were a lot of Pokemons um, in the park of the clinic and in some regions of the park I could get internet with my phone. So that's good. I'm level 40 now. <laughs> oh yes, and generally um, I've got more subscribers, I've got more Patreons. Everything is looking nice on the uh, front of my story. I animated some things. I just got permission from Carol Brown to uh, show you the animation I did uh, for one of her books. So that's great. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the status quo at the moment. Good, uh, see you Sunday or next Wednesday. Bye bye.